People called her the heaviest black girl in the world. She struggled with herself for a long time and tried to lose weight. But once she realized that weight does not matter, she accepted herself and found the man of her dreams. This is the story of Oscar-nominated American actress Gabouré Sidibé. How did she meet her love? And who is her husband? Keep watching to find out. This is WOW Channel. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin! Today, Gabouré Sidibé is a very popular actress. She made her debut in 2009 in the film Precious, where she played a teenage girl with a difficult life. For this role, she was nominated for an Oscar and received many other awards. She also starred in such popular shows as American Horror Story and Empire. Gabouré Sidibé has been incredibly successful in her career, but many years ago she didn't even dream that one day she would become an actress. Gabouré Sidibé was born in Brooklyn, New York, in an ordinary family. Her father was a Senegalese cab driver, her mother was an American teacher and singer. The girl never planned to become an actress. She studied psychology at college and worked as a phone operator for several years. She got into the movies by accident. A friend advised her to audition for the lead role in the drama Precious. Gabrielle didn't even want to go at first, as it would have forced her to miss college. But in the end she agreed and unexpectedly got the main role. She had to play a 16-year-old teenage girl who has an abusive mother, two children and struggles with poverty. Thanks to her education as a psychologist, Gabouré played this difficult role perfectly. This work earned her the Independent Spirit Award for Best Female Lead and nominations for the Golden Globe. Soon she got new roles and became a real superstar. In public she always seemed so joyful, but few people knew that for many years the girl battled with her weight and suffered from depression, anxiety and bulimia. She struggled with herself for a long time and one day decided to get laparoscopic bariatristic surgery after she was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. So, in May of 2016, she secretly went under the knife. The essence of this operation is that the surgeon reduces the stomach of the patient. After that, a person wants to eat less, since his stomach can no longer absorb the previous amount of food. Usually this results in weight loss. Gabouré Sidibé described her experience in her memoir. This is just my face, try not to stare. I did not get this surgery to be beautiful. I did it so I can walk around comfortably in heels. I want to do a cartwheel. I want not to be in pain every time I walk up a flight of stairs. She writes in her book. Since the procedure, she has changed her eating habits. The actress worked with a nutritionist and fitness trainer. For the first few months after the operation, she rapidly lost 150 pounds, and Gabouré began to feel much better and healthier. But did she become happy after that? Hardly. For many years, Gabouré Sidibé hated her body. Therefore, even after losing weight, she continued to feel lonely. The actress was able to change her life and find her true self only when she accepted herself for who she is. Probably the fans helped her in this, because they loved her for her talent regardless of the size of the clothes. Thanks to them, Gabouré realized her beauty and fully accepted herself. I know I am beautiful in my current face and my current body. What I don't know about is the next body, she writes in her book. I was in the war with my body for a long time. If I started treating it better sooner, I wouldn't have spent so many years hating myself. But I love my body now, she added. It was an important discovery in her mind, and since then her life has changed a lot. For many years she wasn't sure she would find true love and she couldn't imagine dating someone she actually liked. But one day something incredible happened. She decided to register with Horaya's dating app and met an amazing man. Their first date lasted seven hours. They found a lot in common and couldn't stop talking. This man is Brandon Frankel. He has worked in the entertainment industry for over a decade. 
with roles in branding, marketing, and consulting under his belt. He's worked at some of the top entertainment companies and agencies. Frankel currently serves as the chief business officer at the virtual concert production company No Cap Shows. Since their first date, the couple knew it was a true connection. Frankel proposed to City Bear in November 2020. It was so romantic, he decorated the bedroom with rose petals and a Will You Marry Me balloon sign. He wrote on Instagram, I asked my best friend to marry me and she said yes. So excited to spend the rest of my life with the most amazing, hilarious, beautiful and inspiring woman I've ever known. Sidibe was over the moon. She called him the funniest man she has ever met and the sweetest human to exist. They tied the knot at the kitchen table about four months after their engagement in March of 2021 during the pandemic. It was a secret wedding ceremony, no press, no extra people. They kept their relationship status a secret for over a year. Sidibe didn't want to have a traditional wedding at all, but for the sake of her mother-in-law, later she agreed to take part in the formal celebration. Brandon Frankel is so happy in this marriage that he even decided to get a tattoo with his wife's name. I love my wife so much, I wanted to ink her name on me forever, he writes. Recently the couple celebrated their second wedding anniversary. They love each other even more from the moment they first met and send each other sweet messages on Instagram. I couldn't imagine a life without you in it. You make me laugh uncontrollably. We have fun anywhere and everywhere we go. You impress and inspire me on the daily. And I'm the luckiest man in the world, wrote Frankel. Now he's her biggest supporter. He praises her career and expresses how proud he is of her. And City Bear really appreciates it. Brandon remains just as beautiful and dreamy and clever and hilarious and fun and all around wonderful as he was the day I said I do. Lucky me wrote Gabrielle Sidibe on her Instagram. Couple doesn't have children together, but they are proud parents of two cats, Aaron and Daryl. Cats are an important part of their lives. The couple love their pets so much. They often post their photos on their social media, and a cat named Daryl even has his own separate account. Gabrielle Sidibe has found true love and the man of her dreams She's incredibly happy thanks to the fact that once she accepted herself and stopped paying attention to how people talk about her appearance. Her story proves that any woman can find a man who will love her deeply, no matter the size of her clothes, if she loves herself first. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to share your thoughts with me, to click like and to subscribe. See you next time!